Good evening, white shipping enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome into the rabbit hole with Cal Shaves. You've seen this all over the place. I'm going to do a review of it. I bought it a little while ago from Shoppers Drug Mart here in New Brunswick, Canada. I've opened it, looked at it, haven't used it beyond that. So we're going to give this a try. Um, going to keep the commentary fairly short on this. So what you've got... It's a TTO, twist to open, barn doors, a four and a quarter inch handle, four and a half inch overall length, 3.0 ounces. I'm also going to use the blades that came in the pack that came with a five pack of Wilkinson sword blades. I may have used a Wilkinson sword blade once before, wasn't a big fan. Um, so we'll give that a go. Um, what we're also gonna be using is I did a trade recently with Jamie Eldon. I traded him one set of shave soap, and in exchange, I got a and &E Vanilla Dead Tobacco. This is a beef tallow base. They're matching uh, aftershave, splash, and skin food. This is alcohol-based. And the skull, of course, Thirsty Badger, or uh, no, not Thirsty Badger, Coyote Cola, my 24mm uh, tube band. Badger, so we'll give that a go. That's our thirsty badger. And because it's evening and I showered several hours ago, I'm also going to use the beard blanket. Uh, wet it in hot water, wring out the excess water, put it around my face while I'm prepping up my soap. So again, uh, we're going to keep the commentary fairly short and we'll give this a try. Going to give it a hell of a good go. Uh, probably about two weeks worth of growth, so we'll give it a go. Headed out trucking tomorrow. So we'll put that in the sink while we're getting this all prepped up. So again, the focus of this shave is going to be on the razor, not so much on the soap, but you can see it's a very firm soap. So run the excess water out. Try not to saturate my lapel mic. So it'll be a fresh Wilkinson sword blade. Yeah, I think these are, I'm not exactly sure. I think I paid right around $20 Canadian for this. So seated in there. Seems to be pretty snug in there. It's not got a bad feel to it. Knurling isn't too, too bad. Uh, you can see the laser etching in there, which is nice. So, got our soap. So, we'll give this a go. I prefer a shorter handle, but we'll give, the, give this a try with the grain.
So far, not bad. Going through several days growth like nothing. Honestly, I was prepared not to like this. Very smooth, not aggressive. I prefer a little bit more blade feel. The knurling's a little slippery. Just keep drying my hands off. I mean, I prefer a shorter handle. My curve, which is in the other room, is a three inch handle, so I do prefer the shorter, but that's actually not bad at all. Not bad at all for a first pass. Again, I was prepared not to like it. I typically use a Voshcon blade. I find Voshcons work in pretty much any razor I have and I get a great shave with them. I don't have coarse beard growth. Love the scent of this soap. Don't think I've used any products before, but I'm really liking that. I do have several uh, vanilla tobacco scents, so I'm really liking that. Okay, so second pass uh, across the grain. So I'll give that a, just make sure it's tightened up nice. It's got a nice solid weight. I believe uh, a fat boy is about three ounces. Yeah, we're just going to do uh, a quick third pass, but that's really nice. Again, a little bit of irritation through there. But, uh... So our third pass against the grain. Again, this review is more about the razor than it is the soap. And he has a great reputation in the community. Scent is great, selectness is great. Really, really nice. So we're going to pause this, do a cleanup, uh, talk about the beard blanket some more, and do our post. So we'll be right back. Thanks. Yeah, hey guys, we're back. Got it washed out. And that razor removed an insane amount of hair. I was really surprised by it. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take, go back to our beard blanket, soak this in cold water, wring the excess out. What I usually do is put that on and do my cleanup. So we'll get that dealt with now.
I have done a few videos using a beard blanket. Uh, they are available on Amazon. I don't know if they ship to Canada or not, um, but I will post links and they have their own website too, which of course I'll post. So we'll put this on and uh, we'll do our cleanup and we'll come back and talk. Okay, so that's been on there. Now, I'm just going to wring out the excess out of this, hang it over my rack to dry. Razor Rock Alum. I'm just going to wet this, run it over my face, and it'll give me some feedback as to how the shave went. Okay, so a little bit of irritation on my neck. That doesn't surprise me. I could feel it with the razor. But overall, and I don't remember what I paid for that razor. I'd have to check. Um, 20 or $30 Canadian, I'll have to, I will look it up and find out. But overall, it's not bad. It's fairly solid in my opinion. The knurling isn't I've used worse, I've used better. Um, it's not my favorite razor by any stretch, but I am pleasantly surprised by it. Um, if you know, like a long handle, like I said, it's a four and a quarter inch handle. I feel like the butt might be coming out of that a little bit, a little bit loose there, but you know. And I was actually kind of surprised by the Wilkinson Sword Blades. Um, won't be in a hurry to use them again, but if you like them, then that's great. Um, for me, I am gonna stay with Vosh Gods. But uh, it did do a great job and a little bit of irritation down here, but again, no big deal. So anyway, we're going to rinse the alum off and then use the, uh, the alcohol-based aftershave and uh, skin food. I'm headed out trucking tomorrow, so this is uh, just a quick one before I go. And again, thank you to Jamie Eldon for doing this trade with me. Oh, that's very nice. Very refreshing. Very nice. So, anyway, guys, just a quick review out of the box. My first impressions of the Classic Save Wilkinson Sword uh, TTO using the blades, pack of blades that came in it, and uh, the AE. Vanilla de Tabac, or Vanilla de Tabac. So, um, of course, Cody Cola in my Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. So, overall, really nice. Um, gonna try a different blade next time. Forgot to set this. But, um, again, I don't remember what I paid for it, but for a little travel razor, you're not worried about losing. You don't wanna lose your curve. You don't wanna lose, um, uh, you know, some of your vintages or whatever. It doesn't come with a carry case, so that's a little bit inconvenient, but you can, you know, make something up or I just throw that in your kit bag like that. Like I said, you're not going to be out anything. So, um, not an unexpected, decent little shave with it. So, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this up for tonight. I got to get ready to go truck in the morning, do a few things before we go before uh, bedtime tonight. So, anyway, as always, your comments, your suggestions, good, bad, indifferent, I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave them down below. And thanks for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you again in a few days. And take care. Bye-bye.